everyone, this is Kira Lynn with Hollywood First Look Features, and right now I'm at the premiere of Same Kind of Different as Me, starring Renee Zellweger, Greg Kinnear, and Jaime Hunsu. Let's check it out. I had another dream last night. Was it a good one, or was it about me? It was about a poor wise man who changes the city, and I saw his face. Man, am I glad you guys showed up. Debbie, I got a sales call at 6.30. I got to drop off contracts north of town. No, you don't. Is there any infectious diseases floating around this place I should know about? <laughs> Martin told me about your friend. If you don't tell Debbie, I will. We've been married 19 years. We don't share the same life. We don't share anything. You can leave. You choose. So when you get a character or an actual, you get a chance to play a person like Denver and you read a script, what jumps out to you when, when deciding that this is a role that you want to take on? Well, obviously, you, you, you know, you want to portray somebody uh, that has a great amount of integrity in his way of, uh, uh, the way he carries himself around. You know, you do want to portray um, you know, yeah, like I said, uh, charismatic and, and uh, you know, and this was a charismatic person. He was, uh, you know, he, he's uh, a demeanor. It's quite uh, inspiring, you know, uh, to see this homeless uh, man befriend on this, uh, you know, international art dealer. Um, and this art dealer was forced to befriend this uh, this man, this emotionally scarred, you know, homeless man, just so that he could redeem his relationship at home, you know. So yeah, it's uh, but the the character and you know and uh, the character's essence, you know, Denver Moore it was just uh, a charismatic uh, character to portray and uh, uh, a deep character and a very uh, uh, sort of like uh, a bit edgy, yeah. Well, I'm always, um, uh, I, I always love being, working on something that is a challenge for me as an actor, playing a character who's very different from me in my life experience. I play Claire in the film, and she's um, a meth-addicted prostitute who's lost custody of her son. So it's something very different than what I've, I've done in the past. So, um... No zombies in this film. No zombies. <laughs> no zombies. I, my character comes the closest to being a zombie <laughs> in the film when she starts off. But, but Renee's character, Deborah, takes her under her wing so, and really transforms her life. So this was a very uplifting set to be on. Yeah, I worked on this film for 10 years with a couple of failed attempts. And, uh, you know, but I always stuck to my guns because I wanted the truth told and not some fantasy story. So this is an absolutely true story that we hope will inspire a nation and to bring about, you know, just random acts of kindness or, or things that make a difference. And so we want to change the world one random act of kindness at a time. That's what this film is about. I read the book 10 years ago. So uh, I, I would have been moved by this story for a long time. It's been a passion project of mine to, to bring to the screen. So, uh, so uh, yeah, when I read something like this, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all in, that is for sure. As from a producing standpoint, you know, especially because it's going from book to film, how hard is it for you, you know, on the, I guess on the creative business side, for you to make sure that, you know, the fans that have grown to love the book will also come and grow to love the film? Yeah, important for me is making sure that the themes that were so beautiful in the book show up on the screen. Uh, casting was so important and making sure that uh, our actors who are amazing just represent the true characters. And we were very fortunate to get our incredible cast on this film. Denver changed everything. Our lives together would never be this beautiful. Someone else is stubborn. I, along with most of the other members, have a problem with you bringing your friend around. You can tell him that yourself. He's standing right there. Hi, I'm Jaime Unsu, and you're watching Hollywood First Look.